Uh, my name is Akenga Rehani. My name is Daniel Bersenu. I'm Christopher. My name is Medina de Silva. My name is Lina. Hi, um, I'm Hannah. Hola, hello. My name is Maria Paula. I always hated the idea that, like, I didn't necessarily feel as though I had the opportunity to contribute to something bigger and just to be a part of this, a certain community. This seemed like a good opportunity to get involved with the community and work on certain initiatives that are important to me. I was uh, mostly contributing to international initiatives virtually with people from other time zones and other continents. Um, at some point, I realized that there is also some opportunity to contribute to my local community in Ottawa. Being part of the um, Ottawa Youth Engagement Committee will be um, a, a nice choice that will help me uh, help the municipal government and uh, other Canadians who are looking forward for the better solution. I, I do um, want to learn more about leadership roles and how to work with other people. I also um, am quite passionate about climate change. So ever since I was a child, I have had a strong desire to contribute to the community and to help um, others. So I've been working in different projects since I was in my school and then in my university. So when I came here um, to Ottawa, I found this amazing opportunity where I can also uh, work with youth leaders and we can contribute to our city. So it's a perfect opportunity. I think it's really important for youth to get involved in their cities, in their communities, in their schools. And I wanted to be a part of collaborative change, to learn from other youth around Ottawa so that I can bring elements back to my own community, to my own school, to my own self. So when I initially applied, um, the issue I brought up in my application is um, the um, the lack of diversity in STEM programs such as physics um, and I mentioned the, the disproportionate um, amount of certain demographics in these programs and how it's actually uh, important to ensure that we have um, a much wider diversity of people going into STEM programs. Um, this is important because um, for innovation to really be at its finest it's important to have all kinds of perspectives and worldviews um, and ideas being brought in. We are passionate about um, uh, issues concerning housing in Ottawa because uh, based on uh, statistics and uh, um, how people are talking, it seems like this is one of the issues that, uh, that concerns them a lot and it concerns me a lot being uh, one of the residents in, in this city. Okay, so as um, we live in Ottawa and it's becoming more inclusive, but there's still so much to do, especially about POCs and just being the daughter of uh, like first generation immigrants, there's just so much that has to change. And so I think it's amazing to be a Gen Z in the sense where at least we were not, there's so many other second generation immigrants that deal with similar things that we deal with in Ottawa and just and even though in the human rights we don't necessarily always address those issues I think that we address them through different projects that we do. Currently I would say that I'm interested in two main issues. One is issues surrounding affordability, uh, mainly food insecurity and housing crisis. Uh, I believe that because of some added economic effects like that of the pandemic and um, economic fluctuations like mass layoffs and so on, uh, there is a huge struggle and there is a huge gap to um, in our infrastructure to be able to help people in need. I would love to work um, in gender equality and empowering women by facilitating um, education, employment and entrepreneurship opportunities and also as a Latin American um, member of the community here in Ottawa, I would like to work um, in creating different opportunities where we can be represented and we, we can show our talents. I think diversity and inclusion are important aspects in the social development. 
I think one of the biggest issues that I'm passionate about is actually youth advocacy and getting youth involved in city planning and in decision making. A lot of times many youth may feel that their voice is not heard and I really want that to change. I want youth to know that they can make an impact in their community, in their school, and they need to make that choice. They need to believe in themselves to be able to make that change. And that, that's really my main goal. I, I really do believe it's important to look at history and to teach history in through the lens of the past. Like, I mean, it is important to to, to recognize the issues that were happening in the past, like the, like the, like how like bad it was and, and the things that were completely wrong and inappropriate at the time. I believe it's just such much more smarter to look through like the person, the people's perspective at that time period because what they thought they were doing was good and we might have a different perspective of what that is like. There are different issues that uh, uh, our municipal government, our federal or provincial government will need uh, youths to uh, collaborate with them in trying to come up with better solution. Our leaders are there to help us achieve different goals, to live a sustainable life and um, the way we, we desire. Something that might be difficult today may not be difficult tomorrow. And that's something that people need to acknowledge that communities change, communities grow. The needs of communities continue to change as the community grows. And those challenges that may have been there yesterday may not be there tomorrow. So I'd say the big thing is to do uh, your research, first of all, um, and maybe talk to other people who would know things about how to get involved in the community. Um, I likely would not have found out about OYEC uh, if it weren't for the fact that um, I know people who researched this kind of stuff and brought it up with me. Try to create projects and try to meet people that think like you because the first step into making a difference is being present in this world. If I would recommend attending an event that you're interested in in relation to the issue that you'd like to be involved with. Uh, when you do that, you will surely meet people who can help introduce you and help you get started. Uh, and don't forget that building connections and networking is hugely valuable in, in community involvement. The pros and the cons and everything, there is a pro and a con in everything and people forget. Sometimes you focus on one thing or another. We can contribute to the social development by doing little actions so we don't have to think about super difficult projects. So. Yes, little actions can make uh, big changes.